adventures of Ozzie and Harriet, starring the entire Nelson family. Here's Ozzie. Here's Harriet. Here's David. And here's Rick. And here they are, America's favorite family, the Nelson. Tonight's Adventures of Ozzie and Harriet is brought to you by Colgate Dental Cream. Two-year clinical tests confirm Colgate a leader in reducing new cavities. It tastes best, too. It's just got to be the best toothpaste. And he's very well behaved. Well behaved? I can't even get him to brush his teeth. Oh, Mom, I don't like the taste of that toothpaste. Billy, they say it reduces cavities. Gosh, I still get some. He just won't. Mrs. Scott, you can encourage Billy to brush regularly with Colgate. A good tasting anti cavity toothpaste. Colgate? It does taste better. Yes, and when Colgate was compared with the best known fluoride, research reported in the Journal of Dentistry for Children confirmed Colgate unsurpassed in reducing new cavities. Why, that means no toothpaste has been found better for children's teeth than Colgate. Exactly. Colgate helps stop bad breath. We're a one toothpaste family again. Colgate, the largest selling anti-cavity toothpaste in the world. The toothpaste your family needs in the complete program of oral hygiene dentists recommend. Hi, come on in. Oh, yeah, was, is Harriet here? Uh, of course, it's Claire. You're sure now? Well, she just went over to your house, isn't she there? Well, yeah, but you never can tell. She and Clara might have sneaked back over here. Come on, will you? Just a second, I better make sure. I'll be right with you. Hello? <laughs> She's there all right. What was that? I tell you, there's nobody home except me. Come on, let's go. <laughs> These beauties, Oz? Yeah, they sure are. Hey, look, don't you think we ought to fix the lock on this trunk? Well, why don't you just take those downstairs and hide them in our hall closet? Then you wouldn't have to come traipsing all the way up here every time you want to take a look at them. In your hall closet? Are you kidding? Harriet would be sure and find them there, then she'd tell Clara. Well, I don't know why you don't tell Clara about them anyway. I will when the time comes. I'm just waiting for the right moment. <laughs> when is that going to be? Right after she buys something extravagant. I don't know what's the matter with her anyway. This is the first time she's gone two weeks like this without buying something she doesn't need. It just seems a shame that you've got a beautiful set of golf clubs and you don't get a chance to use them. Oh, stop rubbing it in, will you? Well, I know if they were mine, I sure wouldn't have them stashed away in somebody's attic. Well, how'd that get there? Oh, what is it, Oz? What's the matter? A scratch on it? Where? <laughs> I was just looking at old printing press. Oh, don't do that, will you? Oz, you scare me to death. <laughs> I gave this to Rick one Christmas when he was about seven or eight years old. I sure like the feel of these irons. <laughs> it's really worth, you know. You can actually print stuff with it. I wonder if it'd be taking any chances to take these out in the backyard. Seems a shame it's just going to waste up here. Still in pretty good shape. Print looks okay. Could probably use some ink. No, I think I'll take this downstairs and see if it still works. <laughs> Oh, I just thought I'd take this out in the backyard and hit a few chip shots. <laughs> Wait a second. Hello! She's still there. <laughs> Come on over there. <laughs> Who's at the door? We're gonna answer the Uh, come in, fellas. Hi, Mr. Nelson. Hi. Oh, hi, boys. What can I do for you? Our airplane got stuck up on your roof. Would you get it down for us? Well, I can try. Whereabouts is it? It's right up by the chimney. What happened to your leg, Mr. Randolph? There's nothing. It's just a golf club. See? We're right up there. Oh, yeah. I'll get the ladder. I'll help you. What happened to Mr. Randall? He got a golf club stuck in his pants. <laughs> Boy, 
That's a long ways up there. Yeah. You want me to go up, Mr. Nelson? I'll go up. Uh, that's okay, fellas. You, you guys just stand back. Mr. Randolph will go up. I'll hold the ladder. Why don't I hold it? I'm stronger than you are. What do you mean you're stronger than I am? Well, then let's say I'm chickener. <laughs> but it's your roof. Now, hold it steady. Feel yourself go and try to fall over that way. I don't want you to break my new club. I didn't know I was such a good shot. ever seen a, a printing press? You mean a real one? Well, not exactly, but it works. Come on in the house, I'll show it to you. It used to belong to Ricky. Or... <laughs> what the heck are you trying to do, kill me? I wasn't hitting a ball, I was just trying out my swing. Sure takes a nice divot, doesn't it? <laughs> you just uh, set the type in place there, ink it up, and you're all set to roll. Gee, that's neat. Can I print my name with this? Sure, you can print anything. You got all the letters there. What else can you print? Oh, posters, menus, tickets. Let's print some tickets to the movies. Then we can get in free. <laughs> uh, I'm afraid that wouldn't be legal. You can print up cards, invitations, wedding announcements. Who's getting married? Not me. I hate girls. <laughs> Any silver polish? I got some dirt on my cloud. <laughs> Would you settle for a couple of paper towels? Well, okay. So right under the sink there. Hey, here's an idea. Uh, why don't you guys start up a little newspaper? <laughs> Couldn't do that, Oz. Not with that little press. Oh, well, sure they could. You know, just a couple of pages, neighborhood news. Be a lot of fun. What do you think? I don't know. You could sell subscriptions and make some money. Well, where would we get the news? We could get them from television. Well, no, I mean just the, the things that happen around the neighborhood here. Oh, come on, Oz. Nothing interesting ever happens around here. Well, well sure it does. Besides, a, a good reporter digs up his own news. That's half the fun of it. Billy's little brother got some pollywogs for his birthday. Yeah, I gave them to him in a glass of lemonade. <laughs> See, that's the kind of stuff I mean. Ozzy, yo, you out there? Yeah. Oz, what's the matter? The club, hide it back up in the attic. Well, hide it yourself. Why don't you tell Clara you bought a new set of clubs and stop this sneaking around? I can't tell her, not yet. Yeah. Oh, come on, will you, Oz? Uh, is that you, Clara, honey? Well, there you are. Hello, dear. Hi, Harriet. Hi, Joe. Trying to hide from me, were you? Hide? Now, why would I be hiding? Because you don't want to go over and see Doc Williams' new rose bed. You're right. Well, I know it's a big nuisance, but after all, you did promise him. Well, okay, come on, let's get it over with. I'll be seeing you, Oz. Okay. See you later, Harry. You will uh, return the you-know-what to you-know-where? Don't worry about it. Are you coming? Okay, up? okay, see you later, folks. Goodbye, Joe. Bye, Joe. Boy, they sure have their problems, don't they? They sure do. Well, hi, fellas. Hi, Mrs. Nelson. Hi. What's this? Well, that's a printing press I gave Rick when he's a little fellow, remember? Oh, yeah. Mr. Nelson was showing us how to work it. Good. You know, uh, boys, I I've been thinking about this. This is just going to waste up in our attic. Would you guys like to have it? Gee, thanks, Mr. Nelson. Okay. Yeah, thanks a lot. And thank you, too, Mrs. Nelson. 
What for? It's polite. You said so. What are you going to take where? What's this? That double talk Joe was giving you in there. Oh, oh, well, it, it was uh, nothing important. Just, uh, well, I'll, I'll uh, see you later. I, something I, I want to do upstairs. Hi there, what can I do for you? I'm sending subscriptions for my brother's newspaper. Oh, they're starting to print up a newspaper. Well, good for them. It has all the latest news in the neighborhood. Ah, that sounds great. Uh, how much is it? Two cents a copy, and if you buy a month's subscription, you get a free party walk with it. <laughs> well, that's quite an inducement. And a glass of lemonade. Well, naturally, so the polywog can swim. And you can have a lifetime subscription for a dollar. Oh, okay. Uh, I'll take a lifetime subscription then. Gee, thanks, Mr. Nelson. And if you pay cash, you get five extra copies. Dollar. <laughs> Let me put my name down on the pad there. Thanks a lot, fellas. That's okay. Yeah, that's okay. We got a lot more liveries to make. Oh, well, I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Your morning paper just arrived. Oh, thank you. What's this? Your morning paper. It's the first edition of the Neighborhood News, hot off the presses. Oh, how about this? And how about this? I'm writing the headlines. Well, good for you. What does it say? Uh, Ozzie Nelson, hero. Well, what'd that cost you? Hey, listen to this. This week's hero is Mr. Ozzie Nelson. He clumbed up on his high roof and got our plane. It was very dangerous, but he did not care. Well, congratulations. <laughs> I must say, this paper shows a lot of promise. A toast to our hero. Skull. Skull. Hey, Oz. Oh, hi, Joe. Come on in. I suppose you've seen this. Yeah, how about that? I'm a hero. Well, who cares? Did you see what they said about me? No, what is it? Right here. Mr. Randolph hides new golf clubs in attic so his wife can't find them. <laughs> it says that? Well, actually, it says so his whiff can't find them. <laughs> well, did Clara see it? You're darn right I did. How would you like to watch me do some expensive shopping this afternoon, Harriet? <laughs> that is if I'm still speaking to you. Well, now, what did I do? Am I in the paper, too? Flash, is it true that the Randolphs have problems? Mrs. Nelson said so. Did I say that? Oh, well, yes, you did, remember? Of course, you were only kidding. Oh, well, sure, I didn't mean you had real problems. Uh, problems. <laughs> I think we ought to put a stop to this thing right now. Hello? Oh, hi. Yes, she's here. Oh, well, just a second. It's for you, Clara Stock Williams. Williams? What does he want? I don't know. He said something about looking at his rose bushes being a nuisance. Did they put that in the paper? Whose idea was this, anyway? Well, don't look at Hello, me. Doc. This is the culprit right here. You just can't give a printing oh, press to Doc, a couple of boys and allow them to victimize the neighborhood. Well, maybe don't forget about it. Why, your well, rose bushes are the talk of the neighborhood. Ozzy Nelson. Here. No, no, no. I mean, they're just beautiful. <laughs> How about those kids? <laughs> Hey, Pop. I got a little present for you. Well, thank you. See, now, it's not my birthday. I haven't had a birthday in years. Uh, I was getting too much older than your mother. <laughs> Come on, open it. Well, what are you so curious about? I want the ribbon. Oh. Yeah? yeah. Don't 
mention pop, you deserve it. Merci beaucoup. Yeah. Oh, it's beautiful. Uh, how did you find out about my little act of heroism, eh? Are you kidding? That neighborhood scandal sheet has a tremendous circulation. What do you mean, scandal sheet? Have you seen it? <laughs> no, not actually. Come on, take a look at it. I thought I destroyed all those copies. Oh, what for? After all, the kids are only printing the truth. Can't argue against the freedom of the press. Heck no, Mom. That's one of our constitutional guarantees. Well, I know that, but sometimes when you take a remark out of context, it takes on a completely different meaning. You mean Pop isn't really a hero? Oh, yes, he is. <laughs> Why would he on the roof and rescue an airplane in distress? <laughs> well, sure, if you can believe everything you read. <laughs> well, I have to get going. I'll see you later. Okay, and uh, thanks again for the medal, Dave. All I can say is I deserve it. <laughs> thanks, Mom, I will. Hey, looks like the second edition of the Neighborhood News. Oh, well, let's see what they've got to say about me this time. <laughs> you made the headlines again. No kidding. Hero trains on banana splits. <laughs> How about those kids? For the last three days, our hero, Mr. Nelson, ate a banana split and a chocolate pie at the malt shop before dinner. <laughs> Look at the way they spell chocolate. <laughs> and never mind that. No wonder you haven't been eating all your dinner lately. And no wonder all the buttons have been popping off your pants. <laughs> I just happened to stop by there one night before dinner. And what's this about buttons... Oh. Man bites dog. I didn't bite no real dog. I mean like an Airedale or a poodle or nothing. Every day I stop by the wagon and have a hot dog. Doc Williams gets gassed every Friday night. Every Friday night, on my way home from the office, I stop off at the service station and get my car filled up with gas. <laughs> Mrs. Schaefer beats her husband. I beat him at golf. Gave you four strokes aside. Okay, okay. <laughs> Good guy of the week. Jack at the malt shop. He gave a free box of candy to a very pretty blonde lady. Her name is Bubbles LaTassel. I didn't know her name was Bubbles. She forgot her purse. She paid me the next day. If anybody sees my wife, please tell her. <laughs> Fellas, Harriet said you wanted to see me. Well, sit down. We'll stand if you don't mind. I'll get right to the point, Oz. I've got a little petition here, and it's signed by everybody on this block. The entire neighborhood. A petition? That's right. And it petitions you as the prime instrument in the creation of the yellow tabloid and scandal sheet known as the Neighborhood News to close down said presses immediately or suffer the consequences. Are you kidding? In other words, get that printing press back from those kids. Uh, Doc, uh, 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 Joe, there's an angry mob forming outside. <laughs> Word to the wise is sufficient. But, uh, our, uh, fellas... Hi, Mr. Nelson. Oh, hi, Jack. Oh, I, uh, I see you're entertaining a couple of members of the working press over there. Yeah, they've become pretty steady customers lately. Oh, look, uh, will you bring me a chocolate malt and the kids check? It's on me. Okay, and good luck. Uh, thanks. Oh, uh, yeah, wait, I'm trying to get your attention. Yeah, I know, but I don't dare wait on it until after the kids leave. <laughs> Sneak over there. <laughs> oh, hi there, fellas. Oh, hi, Mr. Nelson. Hi. You mind if I join you? Oh, no, sit down. How do you like my hat? Oh, <laughs> that's pretty nice. <laughs> well, I guess you guys must be getting pretty tired of putting out that paper by now. Heck no. It's fun. Oh? I thought maybe you'd rather have some time to go out and play ball or something. Oh, we do. We have plenty of time. Well, yeah, but uh, there must be some interesting things you're missing out on. Like what? Well, uh, I understand they're having a yo-yo contest at the playground tomorrow. Are you interested in yo-yos, Mr. Nelson? How do you spell yo-yo? No, no. <laughs> it's not for me. I, I mean, I, I just thought you guys might be interested. I suppose we could interview the winner. Uh, well, uh, look, fellas. Oh, uh, thank you. Look, I, I'll, I'll come right to the point. Uh, when I gave you that printing press, I, I really hadn't asked Rick if it was all right. Uh, I, I mean, it was his, and I probably didn't have any right to give it away. You mean you're going to take it back? How do you spell Indian giver? No. <laughs> I don't want to just take it back. 
Uh, I'm willing to pay you five dollars for it. We couldn't do that, Mr. Nelson. It wouldn't be fair. Besides, without the printing press, we couldn't put out the paper. Well, gee, I, I, I wish you'd think it over, boys. We'll let you know if we change our minds. But don't count on it. Well, uh, here, uh, uh, let me take your check. No, thanks, Mr. Nelson. We can handle it. And good luck with the yo-yo contest. Yeah, I hope you win. <laughs> A secret knock. Like what? Well, I don't know. Just knock like a secret knock sounds. Nobody in there. Well, should we go in, look around? That's right. <laughs> Fixed up pretty nice. Yeah. Here's the thing that's been causing all the trouble. Don't even have it nailed down. Yeah. Somebody could walk right in here and steal it. That's right. No, we couldn't do that. I didn't say anything. Oh, well, why couldn't we? That's what we came after, isn't it? Oh, uh, yeah. What are we waiting for? Well, I, I suppose we could explain it to him later. Oh, sure. This has upset a lot of people, Lars. of the Bill of Rights. <laughs> Look what these kids have underlined here. Uh, Article 1. You know, the, the part about the freedom of the press. Uh, Congress shall pass no law. Uh, I, I remember it. George Washington looking at us there. Declaration of Independence. Spirit of 76. your printing press. Uh, we knocked, but there was nobody here. Oh, that's okay. Billy's the editor, you know. Uh, yes, I know, uh, Billy and Pat. Who's Pat? Oh, just a guy. Uh, I don't believe we've met your friend. No, oh, she's just a girl. My name's Susie. Billy's gonna take me to the movies next Saturday. Maybe. <laughs> uh, Billy, uh, Mr. Nelson has something he wants to talk to you about. Uh, no, uh, uh, that's okay. Uh, uh, never mind. Well, I thought... Uh, no, no, I, uh, I have a better idea. Uh, well, uh, bye. Bye, Mr. Nelson. Oh, gee, uh, that's great, Jack. Thanks a lot. Uh, was this yesterday? And, and uh, what was the name again? Miss Ferguson. Thanks a lot, Jack. We've got something we want to show you. Uh, we've been thinking about starting up a neighborhood newspaper ourselves. We just want to find out if it was all right with you fellows if we went ahead with it. Sure. Well, I guess so. We just figured we'd check it out with you guys first. Uh, we've got a copy of it right here. Uh, listen to a few of these items and see what you think. Uh, does Chubby Haynes really sell his lunch to get candy money? <laughs> Boy, wait till Chubby's mother reads about that. Yeah! <laughs> We understand that one of the editors of a local neighborhood newspaper is taking a pretty little girl named Susie to the movies this weekend. That isn't us. We don't go out with girls, do we? Well, sometimes if your mom makes you, and her father gives her the money, and you don't have to sit with her anyway. You mean you are? <laughs> Here's another one. Pat Thompson was in the mall shop yesterday buying his teacher, Miss Ferguson, a banana split? You were? I didn't buy it for it. There was no place else to sit. It's just like me and Susie. I'm not really taking her to the movies. I didn't even see Miss Ferguson until after I sat down. Uh, I found it. <laughs> <laughs> well, it looks innocent enough, doesn't it? Yeah, it certainly does. Did you have any trouble getting it back? 
No, after we read him a few items from our newspaper, we took him downtown and bought him a baseball and a bat. See, uh, most people don't take the trouble to understand kids. But uh, if you're reasonable with them and respect their point of view, they'll be reasonable with you. Well, yeah, most of the time. I, I guess it's just that I like kids. <laughs> Come on, boys. How many times do I have to tell you not to play baseball so close to the house? Now go on down the vacant lot and play, will you, fellas? Darn kids. 